Hi everyone, uh, this is Light Lab Online uh, Lighting Design School and me, uh, Artyom Voronov, and today I'm going to uh, show you how to make the lighting calculation for the corridor in Dialux Evo. I'm very glad to make this tutorial in English because um, my native language is in Russian and according to your requests we make some tutorials into the English and if you like this format, if you like the information that we give uh, please uh, write comments and like this video uh, okay, yeah, so first what we should do we should uh, start the Dialux Evo and I write Dialux Evo here and it takes about um, half a minute to start and maybe uh, uh, even faster so here I got some projects, this is in Russian, uh, but everything here in English. So uh, what I'm uh, advising you here is the room planning. This is a very nice tool uh, and we can build the room uh, very fast. So what you should choose here, the lens is um, 10 meters, with uh, 2 meters height is 3 meters, wall thickness. Uh, in this case it doesn't matter, so make uh, 0 0.2. Then you should choose the space, this is the lux level, uh, this is the space that we need to calculate. And here we need the, um, uh, go to the bottom, see here what we got, mm -hmm. traffic zones inside building. Let's choose here and we have here uh, circulation areas and corridors, what we need. Uh, so click OK and it put the, automatically this room and in 3D we can see this room here OK, this is very nice uh, this room and then we got the you know, function zone here with this uh, yellow and uh, green color so this is not the floor, this is the uh, function zone, this is calculation zone uh, on the floor and what we should do then we should put uh, a man here so go to the 3d object uh, actually this is uh, what I imported here from the 3d warehouse if you need a tutorial how to make it I can show you so I put uh, a man here so and let's rotate it a bit like this Okay, this is, I guess, this is the free scan of some person, <laughs> some real guy. Hope uh, he uh, don't see this tutorial, um, so otherwise he can be my uh, popular. Uh, okay, so, and what we should, we should choose the um, illumination here. And it doesn't matter which illumination we need, so in, I, I think we can show it into the other tutorial. So, uh, very important is to match the lux level so for this guy to uh, make him comfortable to move into this corridor first of all to see this uh, space to see this uh, how to move into this corridor okay and not to get knocked into some uh, object if it might be located here so um, let's make the um, top view floor plan, floor plan view and then go to the light so I prefer this uh, luminaires for the corridors but you can choose uh, whatever luminaire you like uh, so and this is the very nice tool draw line arrangement so we can draw a perfect line with the luminaire here so let's make uh, if you didn't see how I did it so you should do like this you should uh, you should choose draw line arrangement with the left uh, mouse uh, click and then choose the first point then choose the second point and then automatically it gives us one two three four five luminous uh, this is not an easy luminar and this is the luminar with the um, elliptical distribution so and if I click here to see the ES file so see how the light distributes from this source uh, you can see that it's elliptical and I can click here to make it um, to see uh, how light distributes uh, from one luminar. Uh, this is actually not uh, what I need because I need this light distributes along to this uh, path 
So I can click escape and click on my arrangement and in these properties I have rotate button here. Rot rotate element uh, 90 degrees clockwise. So okay, I click it. I can click it uh, many times as I want. So you also can do this. Okay. Uh, I want to rotate it along this path. So and this guy I can move him with this tool. You can see here. So what we should do then, we should click on this button to make this calculation. So we calculate entire room here and it doesn't take too much time. It's uh, maybe less than one minute. So and what we got here, we got an easy lines here with the luxes and we got 90 lux. So the norm in standard, in European standard, which uh, is already into the dialogues, it's uh, 100 lux. So, and that's why here is the red button. So, I want this button to be the red one. So, the right one and the red one as well. So, I click to this uh, arrangement and do you see this is five luminaries? And then I have the distance between them, it's two meters. This is two meters and this is half of this uh, distance. So, this is one meter. Uh, so, I make six luminaries and then I'm automatically have uh, this distance for example i can make it uh, whatever i want one meter 1.5 k automatically it give me this uh, quantity this uh, number this digit so uh, i got one more luminar and let's go to the our 3d view and click to the calculation button i hope uh, that this uh, lux level will be nice and this button will be the red one. Okay, this is the red one. And as you see here, uh, this is a very interesting fact that uh, this is much as the lux level. Uh, of course, this guy, it, this is makes the average illumination a bit less than it should be, I think. Um, because you, you see here, here almost on these dots because this is average so we got the sum of these dots and then we divide the sum to the uh, quantity of these dots so and we got one uh, number here so that's all this is the calculation uh, that you did uh, now this matches the european standard if you need for example this is very interesting uh, not a lot of people look to this so i can uh control c control v and i can uh place this guy so this guy is between two luminaries i can put this guy uh, under the luminar and click to calculation uh, what is interesting in dialogues that we can see how light uh, is on your face to understand what the client needs Maybe you need more uh, reflectance. Yeah, maybe you need more uh, cylindrical illumination here. This is up to you. This is up to your client, up to your client request. So you see this guy, this uh, light goes to the, his face. This light, so now this face in the shadow. So, and you can choose lighting system according to your request. Okay, so you did the calculation for the corridor. Uh, the next tutorials we can make, uh, any tutorials uh, that you need, please write in comment and please put the likes uh, into this video. We need to know that uh, whether you like this video or not, uh, to make other tutorials or not. Thank you very much guys uh, for watch. Please subscribe on our YouTube channels. Uh, of course my native language in Russian and we got some videos in Russian, but of course we can make some videos and English if uh, there will be some requests. Thank you very much for your watch and uh, subscribe to our channel and welcome to the right lighting calculation and lighting design world.